This new year, it's time to do wellness on your terms. That's where Ollie comes in. Thanks to their delightful gummies, you can actually get a good night's sleep. And you might finally stand a chance of staying focused. Because this is the year of you. Discover Ollie vitamins and supplements. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1252. Undone. How to Change Our Procrastination Patterns by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. And I am Dan, I'm your host here. Welcome to Optimal Work Daily. And uh, today we're gonna get right to our post and start optimizing your life. Undone, How to Change Our Procrastination Patterns by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Procrastination starts from an avoidance of something from fear then becomes a pattern that hardens into a habit. We reinforce this procrastination habit through years of practice, and it hurts us in so many ways in our lives, not only with work tasks, but much more. The procrastination habit affects dealing with our finances head-on, health habits, putting off exercise, for example, dealing with our health problems, putting it off makes it much worse, relationships, putting off difficult conversations, creating art, meaningful work, decluttering and simplifying, being on time, and being late can cause us stress, learning new things, and much more. Those are just some of the most visible examples. But we procrastinate all day long by checking our phones, favorite websites, email, messages, news, watching TV, playing games, and, well, you all know your favorite procrastination techniques. So the question becomes, How do we stop hurting ourselves after all these years? How do we start to unravel our hardened procrastination habits and create more helpful patterns? The answer is to start thinking of these hardened patterns as grooves. The grooves of our habits. When you first procrastinated, you didn't have a hardened pattern. You had a choice. You could do your homework or pick up your toys, perhaps. Or you could put that off until later and do something else that's perhaps more fun. You felt fear or resistance with one task, which made the other option more appealing. You chose the easy route, and that felt good in the moment. There was immediate reward. There was difficulty later, but that was something future you had to deal with. All other choices like this were rewarded with immediate gratification. So, by repeating this choice over and over, you start to wear a groove into the ground. After a while, the reward isn't even needed. The groove becomes so much easier to follow and getting out of the groove is so much harder. The longer we keep sticking with the groove, the harder it is to change. Habits are grooves. You stick to the old ones until you're willing to put in the effort to get out of the grooves and make new choices. How do you get out of the groove you've made? Conscious effort. How to change your patterns or get your groove on. The steps of breaking out of a groove are simple, but they require concentrated effort. One. Decide that you're tired of the old groove. The old groove isn't serving you, it's hurting you. When you decide you're tired of hurting yourself with this particular pattern, you're ready to change. Assess whether you're ready right now. Two, commit to conscious change. When you're ready to stop hurting yourself with the old pattern, make a commitment to practice and to be very conscious in changing your groove. Making the commitment to someone else or a small group of friends or family is a powerful way to commit. 3. Set aside time for deliberate practice. You're not going to change your groove haphazardly. You have to practice consciously and with deliberate effort. Set aside a small practice period each day, just five minutes to start with. Don't put off the task of blocking off your practice period. Remember, you're deliberately practicing a new pattern. I recommend five to 10 minutes every day of the week, first thing in the morning, before you check email or your phone or computer. Have a reminder where you'll see it first thing in the morning. Four, set an intention for your practice. Before you start, tap into your reason by remembering why you're practicing. In what ways is this hurting you in your life? Is it hurting your career, health, happiness, relationships, finances, meaningful work, or your loved ones? Set an intention to practice in order to make these things better. Five, set yourself a task. Pick something you've been putting off but perhaps not your hardest or most uncomfortable tasks to start with. Commit to doing that task for just five minutes. And six, 
Let yourself do nothing else and watch your patterns. Sit there and do nothing but that task or do nothing at all. Notice when you have the urge to switch to something else, to get up and get away. Those are your old patterns showing themselves, which in itself is hugely valuable. But just observe the urges without acting on them, but also without judgment. They're just urges, just feelings that arise, not anything to worry about. Just watch, don't act. Just sit and face the urges. Then return to the task, over and over until this is your new groove. It's possible to create new grooves, new patterns that serve you better. I've done it dozens of times in my life, perhaps more than a 100 in the last decade. I'm no stronger than anyone else. And so if I can do it, you can too. You just listened to the post titled Undone, How to Change Our Procrastination Patterns by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search, but match. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Your business is buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. If this is you, consider three numbers. 37,000, 25, 1. 37,000. That's the number of businesses who have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. 25. NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. And one, because your business is one of a kind. So you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. NetSuite is giving you the power of having everything you need to grow all in one place. And you really can't put a price on the power and efficiency that comes with having all of your processes streamlined like this. This is truly an unprecedented offer. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist designed to give you consistently excellent performance absolutely free at netsuite.com OWD. That's netsuite.com slash OWD to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com slash OWD. And I want to say thank you to Leo and to Zen Habits, which is about finding simplicity and mindfulness in the daily chaos of our lives. It's about clearing the clutter so we can focus on what's important, create something amazing, and find happiness. It has over a million readers and was named one of the top 25 blogs by Time Magazine. And if you enjoy Leo's work, do come check out our other shows where we narrate more of his content since uh, he writes on so many different subjects. And you can find all of our shows by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you get your audio and then click that subscribe or follow button in the podcast app you're using to get all the new episodes daily or come by oldpodcast.com to see all the shows we have plus more content. But that's gonna do it for episode 1252. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great day out there and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.